So transfused two units yesterday, but none today on, none today. on dialysis. Okay. Yeah. I'm Dr. Ravi Mehta. I'm the director of the Masters of Advanced Studies in Clinical Research at UCSD. There are so many profound discoveries happening in medicine, yet their application into patients requires a very rigorous uh, mechanism of, of testing and approach. And that has led to the development of a whole uh, realm of clinical research methodology. The, those formal techniques are not usually incorporated in the training programs of medical schools and or pharmacy schools or nursing schools. And consequently, they need to be postgraduate training. We were fortunate to attract and bring together a very talented faculty who put together a curriculum which is widely expansive and also creates some foundations. From a standpoint of volume, are you doing how much fluid are you taking? It's getting 1 to 1.5 off. In our program, we have people who are MDs. Some of them are residents, some of them are fellows. Others are junior faculty. We also have PhDs, PharmDs, nurses who are already in the healthcare field. But then we have individuals who are in the allied professions of supporting clinical research, like clinical trial coordinators or working in industry, and they are all also interacting in the same way. But he's still 8.7, so he's not he's really... He went from 7.5 to 9. We so. have one session every week on the late afternoon evening for about two hours. And during that session for a quarter, we cover a module in each quarter. And the modules have been designed to cover the basic principles of clinical research. So include epidemiology, biostatistics, patient-oriented research, data management, and outcomes research. Those form the core of the curriculum. And we supplement this with a series of seminars which also train people how to do scientific communication, how to do project management, and then also just some basic uh, skills for negotiations and conflict resolutions, which we think are very important for career development. No, a year, nada. Three days ago, he did. Some people want to spend only a year doing this, versus others might have the time to do it over two to three years. And the flexibility allows those individuals who want to take the full course can take the full course versus people who pick the modules that they really need more training for. Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks for that. Um, amongst all the fields in the healthcare sector which are rapidly expanding and a need for people, clinical research is the most aggressively being sought after. Job opportunities extend from academic institutions where individuals taking this degree can create a career track to become clinical researchers to people in industry who are looking to either manage clinical trials, perform clinical trials, or have some relationship in any way. By getting trained and getting a degree, you open up doors which are there, but they may not necessarily be as easily accessible without the training.